Johnny Street from New Jersey. Really funny dude. Give it up for Malcolm Lee, everybody. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Yeah. Three times. How are we doing tonight? Yeah. Good, 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 good. Let's get just started. All right. So I recently got pulled into the friend zone. Yeah, it's terrible, right? Because, you know, you never hop into the friend zone. You're always, like, sucked in like a vortex, you know what I mean? And when you're fighting, too, you be like, No! I don't want to go! Damn, you're beautiful. Okay. All right, we can be friends. You know? And it's weird, too, because the friend zone feels just like a relationship. It feels just like a relationship, but you get no ass. <laughs> like, how many guys are really signing up for a relationship without ass? Right? We could proofread the contract. We'll be looking it over. We'll be like, you know you left out ass, right? I'm not sure. I was looking over with my lawyers. My lawyers told you you left out ass. <laughs> It's crazy, man. But like, I think the friends would be a whole lot better if it was treated more like a jail sentence. You know what I mean? And you knew what kind of time you were getting right up front, you know? <laughs> She's like, you know, Malcolm, you seem like a really good guy. So I'm gonna put you in a friend zone for about a year. But hey, 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 don't worry. With good behavior, you could be out in six months. <laughs> It's crazy. One thing I hate though is like when I try to get advice from my friends, you know? Cause you, you can never really get good advice from your friends. You know, what's good advice? You know, you should tell her how you feel. And if she doesn't feel the same way, then maybe she's not the woman for you, right? That'd be good advice. But that's not what you get from your friends. <laughs> nah. I tell my friends like, she told me she just wants to be friends. What would you do? She'd be like, well, if that was me, you're not me. But if that was me, I hate it. <laughs> what kind of advice is that? How does that help? How does that help? That does not help. And I even a little bit. Never. It's crazy. I love coming out to New York City, you know? But what I hate is how people ask me for money. I hate that shit. Like, at least prove to me that you really need my dog. You know what I mean? These motherfuckers just walk up to you mad nonchalant. They be like, hey. I know I don't know you and all, but uh, it looks like you work really hard for your money. Really, what I'm trying to say is, can I get a dollar? You don't have a dollar? You need a job. You know what, motherfucker, you need a job. How the hell are you gonna tell me I need a job? You asked me for a dollar. You're fucking crazy. You know, but like, what makes me mad about that is like, it wasn't always like that. It used to be entertaining, you know what I mean? They wouldn't just walk up to you and ask you a dollar. At least they'd like start off dancing, they'd be like, <laughs> hey, brother, you got a dollar? You know what? I got a dollar for you. Right? You got talent. On the yeah. It's crazy. It's... I hate my job. I really do. I hate my job. You know, what I really hate about it is like, I feel like no matter how hard I work, I'm never going to get paid my worth. You know what I mean? And I tell my boss, I tell him, I'm like, yo, this is a million dollar corporation. And this doesn't run the same without me. You need to give me a raise. He's like, yo, Malcolm, man, take it easy, man. Why are you always so worried about money? What you have is worth more than money. I'm like, what the hell do I have that's worth more than money? Please let me know right now. He's like, Malcolm, you have potential. And that right there is worth a whole lot more than money. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the hell am I gonna do with potential, though? It's not like I can go into Macy's, get my favorite jacket, and the cashier's gonna say, cash or credit. Neither. I'm gonna use my potential tonight. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna be somebody. What? Fucking stupid, you know? But I hate those, like, I can never catch a break at the job, you know what I mean? It's not like it's an easy, relaxed job, you know? The second I relax, manager comes out of nowhere like, hey, I don't know what kind of party you think this is, but we're not paying you just sit around and do nothing. I'm like, hey, don't worry about it. I have potential. I'll make it up tomorrow. <laughs> Fucker. <laughs> it's crazy. I want to say I love black people. I really do. I love black people. Until I cock in at work. 
<laughs> Seriously, I can't stand you, mother. <laughs> cause it's weird though, cause like as soon as I lock eyes with someone black, automatically we had this long history that I never knew about that allows you to a discount. <laughs> Seriously. And I see it coming too, I'm like, oh shit, here he is. <laughs> they be like, hey brother, what's up, my brother? Hey, how's the kids? How's the family? What's good with the discount? Nigga, I don't know you. Like what? Why would I give you a discount? I don't know you. I don't like you. Get away from me. Shit. Oh man, it's annoying, bro. It's crazy. Like you ever had someone call you up to complain? You ever had that? Am I, am I the only one? I hate that shit, yo. I get this call, this guy's like your mouth, man. I'm going through a lot of things in my life, bro. And it's caused me to evaluate all the people. And I realized, man, you only hit me when you want something. What's up with that, bro? Did I do something to you? And I had to remind him, like, yo, you're my drug dealer, yo. I'm only gonna call you when I want drugs, okay? If I'm gonna call someone to hang out and have a good time, I'm calling my friends. Thank you, my name is Hopkins, you guys are my friends.